All right, so I'm installing this uh, plate from Crossroads3D.com. You can buy pre-wired plates, but and I almost did, but I thought oh, I'll do this. Um, small business, support them, Crossroads3D.com, and you just these are mostly cut out after they create it. You can almost see the well, you can see them. They're pretty close, so it just takes an exacto exacto knife to cut out whatever you want. They have all kinds of patterns. I decided to grab this one so I could set a GPS or phone in there if I want to charge. I'm gonna throw a voltage meter and then a double USB and then front lights, rear lights. Um, I've got my winch rocker and then there's one other thing. I can't remember what I was gonna throw on here. Um, I might just be a blank space for something future. Oh, a heater. If I throw a heater in the front, I'll have a switch up here. And you can always come back in and cut into this. But it was pretty simple. I just measured kind of what I needed off the back and then used a, a measuring tape and then drew out with a Sharpie just in here <clears throat> what I needed. And I just cut it out and I just dropped it into place. And I just, I saw a guy trying to punch holes with his X-Acto knife. And I just found that if I just carefully, I used two hands and just dragged all the way across and then redragged all the way across after about two, then I could punch through and it just cuts clean. Same thing right here, drag, drag, punch through, cut clean, drag, drag, cut through. And then on these corners, just make sure you round around away from here so it has somewhere where you can drill <clears throat> with a 5 16th um, drill bit. <clears throat> Oh, the first thing I did was I took this 5 16th, and you could probably use something smaller. Their instructions said use 5 16th. And I just started to drill the tops of the rivet heads, and I drilled enough till they were compromised. And then I just took a, um, pop this cover off, and I just took my chisel here and just worked it up and popped it off, and then those rivets just pushed through with a screwdriver or something. One's still hanging right there. But, and then this thing just drops right into place. It's a little tight on one hand side. But it drops into place. And then it has these uh, pop rivets that come with it. I think I left them in the shop, but they're the same type. They're these things that are already on the machine that you just lift up with the screwdriver and it, it lifts it up and it, it releases the tension and then the whole thing pops out. Um, and then to put it back in, you just slip it into place and then push this down in and it flares out and creates the tension and it holds. So there's just six of those on here. <clears throat> that way you can come back in and take the plate out easily and pull it up and add in whatever you want. I was gonna hold out until I had all my lights and switches and do it all at once, but one of the reasons I did like this was um, just so I could easily remove it and come back in and out. So it's got a clean look to it and I can set stuff in here. The back of this unscrews if I wanted to. Um, so down in this hole. So um, for now, this is what I'll go with. And this was only like 30 bucks. So if I do decide to come back in and do a, a pre-wired switch and all this stuff and some type of different layout that's smaller, um, I'll do that. But I just wanted to keep it simple. So anyway, that's how it goes. And I'll film when I'm to the next step. All right, it's installed. So that was pretty easy. I just wired up a rocker switch. I ended up throwing on the rocker switch that came with the winch because it had an easier pin assembly. But I'll probably come back in and throw this one on to have this light up. I need to do some jumps from post to post and I haven't I haven't put that together yet. So. That's why you're seeing a different rocker on here, but it does the same thing. It just doesn't light up. So, and then I can come back in and just pop these rivets out, these plastic rivets just like the ones on the machine and uh, lift it out and throw a GPS or a phone in there and charge it if I want to and I don't know and I mean for 30 bucks if I end up not liking this and want to buy one of those fancier uh, pre-wired setups or come back in with a, a fancier metal one or something like that I mean 
not, not much investment, but it looks pretty slick and it looks like, I mean, honestly, it looks like it came with the vehicle. So <clears throat> much better than having that ugly warning sign there. So something else I might do is come back in and when I have been using my, my remote switch, um, at times it's kind of annoying having it down in there especially if it's snowing or raining i don't have doors on mine i do have a roof and and so i'm getting a lot of water in here you can see all this water from when i was plowing snow and i saw another guy that mounted it right here but i think i might mount it right here and that way i can just plug it in and not have to have this open while i'm plowing or using it especially if it's raining and stuff there's no real reason to have it in there other than, uh, anyway, I was just seeing others doing it, but why not have it mounted right here? And so I think I'm going to make that change. So anyway, that's how it's done. Crossroads3d.com. Pretty slick, and they have a whole bunch of patterns and styles of this thing to order.